Hello, hello, hello everyone, AgroVMX here, and welcome back with more Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Reverie. Revelation. I almost said Reverie, and then I tried to correct myself to Revelation, and I wound up with some weird word that's somewhere in between the two. So, we're at the Fashion Forge, right? Or not the Fashion Forge, what do you call it? Chateau de Sass. Um, I could probably finish more of these, and actually you can get this guy to join your party once you've done all of that, but, um... I just fucking hate this shit. It's like, like I said, it's like Pokemon car, uh, Pokemon contest. But we got the uh, the important thing, which was the plush rug. That is the important thing because you absolutely need that. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna zoom over to the um, I think it uh, the Dream World, right? Yeah, we're gonna go to the Dream World. So we'll switch that. Wow! 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 Bum! 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 And then we're going to go to Sorceria, which is not just the third Dragon Slayer game. Here we are. And there's a guy here who will work with the plush... Oh wait, wrong way. That'll work with the plush rug and turn it into a magic carpet for you. I believe... Here, this is the old couple, right? Yes, okay. And I believe it's the dude you want to talk to. We've made our living over the years using the power of magic to craft all manner of items. I remember the little angel pattern baby clothes we made for Ashlyn when she was an infant. If I recall, we'd even be a flying carpet or two in our time. Hmm? Oh, you know about our flying carpet. Well, that's what... Well, what's that you have there, eh? Just so, there it is. My, that sure brings back the memories. It has seen better days, though. It has been away from us for quite too long. Let me have a look at this. Putting even back in my grip, too. Abrakazam! Whew. There you go, it's right as rain now. I shall fly as long and as far as you please. So I believe the flying carpet operates under the same rules as the bed. It won't go over trees or hills or mountains. I believe so. But, um... You, because it's an item that you're carrying, you could use it... Where, where is it? Wait, did Ashlyn have it? No. Is it in the bag? It is in the bag. Yeah, you, you, you gotta be... Oh, oh, no. Damn it. Let's try it again. Ah! Oh, trying to. So, I mean, I could use the bed in this world. But I can't bring the bed into the real world. But I can bring this into the real world because it's an item that I'm carrying. There we go, see? But whatever on that. Okay, so... We got the flying carpet. So the next is we're going to go after... Um, hold on, let me see what I have, because I'm a little... It's the next day, by the way. I have the I, No, I don't have the sword. I have the shield of Valora, and I have the helm of Sabath. So I, I should probably go after... Um, the... Uh, the next one. The armor. Um, Alright, so let's, uh, let's go back to the real world. And then we're going to zoom over to Pescado, which is right here. Now, actually, before I do anything here, actually, I want to fill up as much of the map as I can to keep doing that. So I should probably do that, because there's a whole bunch of places that I haven't been. Like right here, here. Do that first. Well, I don't think I can get up there right now, yeah. I mean, I can walk up there, actually, but I'm not willing to do that just yet. But, all right. but I do want to fill up a bunch of the map. Let's see if I can grab this. Okay. Actually, just go over here. Okay. Might as well, right? Oh, what am, I, what am I thinking? Uh, can I get over there? I might be able to. Looking at the map. No, I can't go. No, I can't. Oh, not yet. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. I guess there's not that many places to fill in, really. But I, wait, actually... Let me, let me just try this from this side first. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Okay. 
That's what I was looking for. And I'll try this. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Alright. Not worried about that just now. Go from the top. And there's one really obvious one right north of uh, Pescado, too. Bang. Oop, come on now, Rick. What are you, drunk? Oh, I still can't, yeah. Oh, alright. Ah. Uh, let's see if I can find a place to land this thing real quick, like, so I can zoom back to Pescado. Okay. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Okay. So actually, like I said, that part where I'm gonna get out and walk, but I'm not gonna do that yet. It's because I'm going to do it, but I wanted to fill out the map first. So we're gonna basically put this right here. Are you thinking, well, why didn't I do this before? Because you're blocked by the river here, or the lake here. So you need the carpet to get over that. Because I could have gotten there with, you know, the ship. Ah, there we are. Oh, what do we got? Cutterflies, huh? All right, hope we can kill them quickly. They like to, uh, miss. they like to make you miss. Hey, confuse that one. Kasap, how dare you? Now, the castle's in ruins, as you can see, but we gotta get there in the dream world. But there, there is, I believe, like a well or, or, or a hole. I think it's a well where you could uh, switch worlds. Ashland's merchant level goes up to Tycoon, learns Call to Arms. Actually, now that I think of it, she might be... Yes, yeah, she is. Alright, hold on a second. First, let me do this. Because I might... I might be able to... Uh, yeah, there's nothing to get here. I could talk to that guy. I might be able to add it to my Zoom list. Let's see. Oh, a right waste of time this has been. I always tell there's some amazing treasure in this castle. But look at the state of this place. You'd be looking to find a couple of dead rats here. Okay, let me just pop ourselves in the well. So this is Castle Gr Grace Skull. Oh, wait, am I going to get arrested? Hey, stop, halt. What are you doing out here? You need to get inside. Follow me. Shit. Maybe I should have... I didn't want to just zoom off to All Trades Abbey right away, you know? I want to... Alright. That's not that big of a deal. Now's my time to go wondering willy-nilly what would the big ceremony happening today and all? Yeah, you don't get arrested here, that's right. Okay. Okay. Let's look around. I mean, I'm not going to get any battles, so it's okay. A precious looking ancient tome. That warning the book silently crumbles to dust. Oops. I must say, I do somewhat regret informing His Majesty about the existence of this creature. It is a legendary demon, to be sure, and its power surpasses even that of the Archfiend. You see, I discovered a way to summon and take command of this beast. My interest in the ceremony is purely scientific, but His Majesty, well, he has grand designs. Hell of a thing to say to a stranger that walks in here. Nothing there. Okay. Right. Haven't seen you around here before. Are you from out of town? Yep. Now you sure picked a damn funny time to visit, am I right? The king's holding a demon summoning, cer summoning ceremony today. So things are a little chaotic. We all trust his majesty. That's all we can do, am I right? Quit your griping, woman. His majesty has never had let us astray before. He's merely summoning a bigger, better demon to help battle the Archfiend. What could possibly go wrong? Are you stupid? King Fall has gone off the deep end with his sinister scheme of his. Two wrongs don't make a right, am I right? I can only pray to the goddess that his plan doesn't backfire. <laughs> okay, there we go. Very well, it's now or never, boys. Move out. Yes, sir. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to do something. Shit. <laughs> well, actually, I can go back and do it now. I might actually be able to leave. But there's, uh... Oh, it's not there. Hold on, where is it? Try going in here, maybe? Okay, good. That's not what I'm looking for, but yeah. Woo! Oh boy! I should pick the wrong damn time to start a new job with the castle, am I right? Let's see here. The snake venom soup is simmering nicely. Now to finish drying up this frog. Kind of a disgusting offering, if you ask me. Breaky, breaky! Hey, look at that. It's a seed of agility. Alright, who has it? You have it. Okay. 
Get up in here. Hang in there, Grandpappy. I'll fetch you the best medicine I can find when things once things settle down. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm putting you through all this. Pretty Betsy. Okay. Let's use that. I'm still gonna use it on Ashlyn because there is at least one fashion thing where you uh, can only use females. You know what? Yeah, this is. I, I don't want to get caught up in this right now. I want to. Well, I mean, I, I guess I should. I'll go up there and talk to them. There's like a couple things I want to do. The priest gives a darn good sermon, but I don't know if summoning some kind of fiend eating super demon is a smart move. Hold on, am I forgetting something? Was I supposed to deliver the ceremonial offering? Hmm. Eh, who cares? I'm sure someone will take care of it. Oh, goddess, please protect us. I, I should be doing this. That gentleman is rather easygoing. I fear the goddess will not be impressed by that fellow's lackadaisical attitude. <laughs> Jesus, Nathan. He sure ain't taking this seriously, eh? Is the Archfiend going to eat us, Grandma? Oh, absolutely not. King Fowl would never let that happen to us. Well, apparently he did in the real world. King Fowl's subjects certainly have a great deal of faith in their monarch. I know nothing about demons, but you can bet we're going to take care of this Archfiend. It really pains me to sense such fear in the heart of one so young. King Fowl has always put the people, those in the castle and elsewhere, before anywhere else. No matter what may befall us, I will always be glad I was born in this land. Call me crazy, but it seems like summoning a demon is a lousy way to look after your subjects. <laughs> Yeah, Carver, I think you might not be crazy. I think you might be true right on that. It's a fine thing to see such a trusted monarch. Uh, yeah, but no. I suppose he's undertaking the ceremony for the good of all the world's people. Except it's a terrible, no good, very bad idea. No, right. There's a... God, there's a frigging slime around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. M my name's Spud. Uh, I'm a model slime. The things are out here. Uh, I, I, I know the perfect voice for him. Uh, uh, my name's Spot. Oh, I'm a model slime. Uh, uh, things are out here scaring the jail out of me. Uh, today's the day of the ceremony. Oh, I know it's no good to dig holes, but I can't help it. I'm a slime of the times. You wouldn't happen to have a wagon I can slip her off to. Then I could glub try to ride from this slimy mess, or do. What? You, you do have a wagon. Perfect. I know where I'm going. Spot joins the party. He is a fucking butter sound alike from South Park. Which I haven't watched in like four years. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh. Oh, wow, he has no equipment whatsoever. I, I actually have some slime equipment I can give him, though. Let's see. Uh, I have slime armor. Yeah. That'll bring his defense from 5 up to 75. That's that's pretty good. I also have a slime guniform. It's probably not as good. Oh, yeah. It's not even as stylish. All right. Um, well, that's it. I'll worry about I'll worry about like actual equipment. Not that I'm using him, but I'll worry about actual equipment for him later. Can I leave? Fuck no. All right, we'll, we'll do the whole thing then. Uh, let's go in here. <laughs> His Majesty has ordered us to keep on training no matter what happens. Yeah. Come on, dodge, weave, strike. Oh, I should be doing this. Seeing the soldiers in training must put the locals' minds at ease. Whoa, those fellows ain't holding back. Looks like fun. These soldiers all seem to be fervent followers of the king's philosophy. Well, the Archfiend gets a lot on me. I'll defend this castle with all my heart. Oh, those fellas ain't holding back. Looks like, oh, same thing. I could drive a wagon through your defense. Oh, Jesus, Carver. There's nothing to fear but your own weakness, King Fall of Grayskull. <laughs> Amen. Without brains, there can be no brawn, King Fall of Grayskull. Nothing there. All right, there's a soldier's diary. Today I've been trying to engrave the words written on those posters in my heart. Without brains, there can be no brawn. These are the words of our king, but I've never fully understood their true meaning. It looks like I'll have to live without fully understanding these words. Right, my writing hand's gone sore. That's enough for today. That's enough for now. Nothing interesting there. Okay. Oh. Lately, I've been feeling this odd evil presence. I don't like it one bit. Huh, I don't feel nothing. You wreck? An evil presence, perhaps. I do sense some kind of deeply mysterious force radiating from this castle. An evil presence? Yes, I sense it too, but what could it be? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, oh, what am I doing? What am I going in there for? That's, uh... I'm supposed to go in here. I'm stupid. Alright, oh, let's go up. The moment is at hand. Very soon our leader will wield more raw power than even the Archfiend himself. I know it's not easy waiting for the ceremony, but just stay calm. It'll all be over before you know it. Yeah, in more ways than one. I cannot shake off my sense of unease about this summoning. More power than the Archfiend, eh? Is this the part where we start getting scared? The ceremony absolutely must be stopped. But do you really think the Archfiend will descend upon the castle, Captain? No doubt about it. As long as we have this armor. Legendary armor. Said to reflect... <coughs> Could you not? Gunny, that's enough! Said to... Gunny! I know, your brother's insane. Stop, stop. S Gunny! Ah, oh, he's just barking. Said to reflect the magical aura of the Archfiend when worn by a hero. Monsters have been slaying those with knowledge of the hero legend. One by one they have fallen. <laughs> It's okay, Gibbs. And I heard word that even Old Trades Abbey and the enchanted city of Sorceria have been destroyed. Heroes Slide are the very personification of hope. They are in short supply in dark times. Until such a hero comes to our aid, no one touches this armor, even if the Archfiend storms our gates. Until the hero arrives, we must do everything in our power to protect the relic, even if it means summoning dark forces. If the legendary armor is in the castle, the Archfiend is sure to make his way here eventually. Depending on a demon to fight your battles is just asking for trouble, eh? I understand the desire to defend the legendary armor, but at what cost? Hmm? What are you all doing in here? This chamber is the hiding place of our legendary armor. You must leave at once. Let's leave this place. Legendary armor. Hmm. Let's go, Rex. Shut up, Gunny! That's enough! Gibbs, you don't... You know, hey! You don't, hey, get off of me. Get off of me. Just because he's barking don't mean you gotta bark. Boy, he's really going off in there. Meow. Hey, enough, enough. No, that's really, dude. That's quite enough. Uh, that really is enough. Oh, let me adjust the mic so I can yell with that. Gunny, that is enough barking. You can stop barking now, okay? I've been alerted to the presence of the deer or the squirrel or whatever the hell it is you're barking at. You can stop now, okay? I know about it. They say you can't reason with dogs. He stopped. Meow. I wonder if the cat is worried, too. The princess's cat, perhaps? Its luxuriant coat suggests it lives in the lap of luxury. The cats have a good eye. He has no idea what's going on. Nothing? Okay. King Files Charter. A united monarchy is best for the people. A united people is best for the world. A united world is best for the future. Alright, nothing. A mini medal! A miniature medallion. A minimalistic medallion, a constitutional piece, a fucking coin, a damn dime, a penny penny! You shouldn't doubt your father, Felicity. He consulted with a castle scholar, you know. The scholar said the demon feeds solely off the souls of monsters. Human souls aren't on its menu, you see. So just calm down and trust in your father, alright, dear? Okay, but on the real, like, somebody who would summon a demon, I would consider that person a monster. Just saying. So he eats monster souls? I don't know if I buy that. The queen seems to have com complete faith in her husband. Even scholars are capable of making mistakes. I fear it's too early to relax. The queen seems to have complete faith in her husband. How can we be so sure Father's demon won't turn against us, Mother? I mean, what happens when the Archfiend and his minions are gone? Wouldn't we be next? I fear the Archfiend cannot be destroyed as easily as they hope. They wouldn't be calling it a demon if it were a natural ally to humans. That princess has a point, you know. Yeah, no shit. Alright. Go up in here. That's the summoning altar. This is the ceremonial chamber. No one's allowed to enter except His Majesty. Are you here to bring the ceremony offering? Well, I don't have it right now. Oh, well, I'll just stay calm and wait with everyone else. We should be starting any time now. All we need is that offering, and we'll be good to go. Once the offering is ready, it seems the ceremony can begin. The ceremony's in there, eh? Ah, but that's one wild scene. It seems the preparations have gone smoothly, at least. Okay, I can go up here and talk to this asshole. If fate cannot be fought, then what meaning might we find in our lives? From the moment we enter this world, our purpose in life is to form our own future. Indeed, it is vitally important to determine one's own, one's, one's own fate. Wow. I am convinced that with sufficient effort, one can alter one's fate. Uh, did you get all, all that mumbo-jumbo? I only believe what I see, you see. You see, I believe what I see, you see. Hey. 
Am I the only one who thinks His Majesty's plan is, you know, dumb? <laughs> no, I agree with you, sir. He's fighting fire with fire, am I right? I feel he's only going to trigger one massive inferno. That fellow makes a lot of sense. I don't suppose he could say how he feels to the king's face, no matter how opposed he is. And when you fight fire with fire, someone always gets burned. All right, nothing. We'll check all of these, but... Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I didn't press it again, but all right. Burning altar dreamscape. Pfft. I don't give a crap about the dreamscapes. All right. Nothing. 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 Oh, look! Nothing! All right. Now right, let's go talk to the king. Nope. That was dumb. What's up, king face? The king, eyes closed, appears to be lost in thought. I don't think his majesty has spotted us. Not much point trying to talk him out of it now, eh? I wonder what is going through King Fall's mind. Okay. Alright, I think we actually just have to go grab the, uh, the soup. Or the, the, the frog soup, or whatever the fuck. Which was in the kitchen. Was that on the right side or the left? I think it might have been the right side. Let's see. Yep, okay. Hey, what's up? Let's see here. This in, uh... Oh, here we go. You, oh, pardon me. You're here to pick up the offering? Yes. Here, snake venom soup and dried frog. Take it from me, won't, won't you? I can't stomach the smell anymore. And we got it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna look at it just because it's kind of funny. Yeah. This her offensively odored offering is just a tad bit ominous. Yeah! Try not to slop any of that on me, I eh, Rick? Don't bring it anywhere near me, Rack. You're holding it, Millie. What maladorious muck that is. Maladorious. That literally means bad smelling. You could have just said it smells like shit. But you gotta be fancy. He's a fancy bitch. Oh, wait, I gotta bring it to the, um... The guard. Uh, that would be down here. And then... I'm gonna go this way. No. No, 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 I'm stupid. I gotta go out this way and on this side. There we go. Wait, am I... Am I derping? No, no, I'm not derping. I'm not derping. But I am derping. Lately I've been feeling this odd evil... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So it's the other side then. Why did I think it was this side? Dang. I literally just... No, it's through here, isn't it? I, I literally just did this too. I was just up there. Is it? Oh, yeah, it's up there. Okay. I'm like, what? I don't even know, man. Yeah, I gotta go here. This is, yeah, 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 we heard this already. Sure I am. Potato delivery, man. Ah, that's the stuff. Snake venom soup and dried frog. Thanks. Just about ready to wrap everything up, then. You gotta be a real idiot to do this shit. Crikey, my hands are all sticky from that swill. I still detect the offering's foul odor about my garments. The ceremonial chamber. Perfect, everything's in place. It's summoning time. You, go fetch his majesty for me. Yes, sir. The ceremony will begin when the king arrives. Well, it won't be long now. I fear the king will not reconsider his decision at the 11th hour. Okay. We're posted here to protect his majesty in case the demon has attacked him by accident. Or on purpose. <laughs> While I fear that the powers are limited, their determination is deeply admirable. If they're worried about this demon going after the wrong fellow, what makes them think it'll attack the Archfiend? He seems like a very honorable guard. I think he just gotta wait. And I... I think I'm wrong, actually. Let's go down here. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go. Your presence in the ceremonial chamber is humbly requested, sire. Ah, right, well, here goes nothing. That's one way of putting it. 
There goes a whole lot of nothing. The ceremony's starting. Let's wait outside the ceremonial chamber. Hey, follow that king, Rick! Oh, hey. We're all gonna get laid. The ceremony is now underway. Let us pray. <clears throat> o soul of the demon who dwells in the depths of the earth, I present to you this offering. By the powers of the arcane arts, I bid you to appear before us and demonstrate your might. Arceso malum in servio malum imperium tu. Yeah, this is totally not a terrible idea. Sup, fucks? Who dares disturb me? You, you're here! It's worked! Can you hear my voice, my dark demon, sir? If you can, be a good demon and heed my humble. No mortal commands me. Well, he's dead. Ah! Sire! Well, they died too. I am destruction. I am genocide. I reduce all to nothing. By the goddess! We must evacuate the queen and princess at once! He didn't even get his frog suit. This is a disaster! Captain, focus. We have to save the armor! What are you doing? We have to get out of here! Well, he's dead. Dear Goddess! Come, there is no time to waste. And what's interesting is... This is the dream world. It's showing what happened in the real world that destroyed the castle. If you get the armor and then if you come back to the dream world and come here... This whole scene will repeat itself. So it, actually, none of the items are missable, even though the castle's getting destroyed. I'll seal away the armor beneath the treasure chamber. Get everyone away, so, away from the castle. Hurry. Yes, sir. So basically, they're just showing you where the armor is hidden. Captain Decline removes some forebloids. Revealing a secret staircase. I'll seal the armor beneath the treasure chamber. It should be safe there forever. You take care of everyone else. Yes, sir. But, Captain, what of your own safety? Don't worry, I'll be just fine. Once I put the floorboards back in, this stairway's as good as, in good as invisible. You'll need a pickaxe to be able to find it. You be careful out there. Move! Move! Get away from the castle! So now we know what happened. Back at this well again. What the? First we trundled out of the castle, and now we're back here again? But everything we saw, it surely can't all have been a dream. It's a dream of what I... It's a memory, really, of what really happened. So you just go, like, right here-ish. Uh, I gotta use the pickaxe, though, and I don't know where that is in my... It's probably in the bag, come to think of it. There it is. There we go. Ba, 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 ba. Nope, empty. <laughs> Door number two. Empty. Door number three. Empty. Oh no, there's nothing in here. Uh. <laughs> you want to examine this? Wreck lifts the stone cover off the ground. Wreck finds a hidden staircase. Alright. This is where the armor is. Wreck searches around in front of him. It's the armor of Orgo. Rec places the armor of Orgo in the bag. Alright, let's actually go ahead and equip that.
Alright. We now have the Armor of Orgo equipped. So this is the legendary Armor of Orgo, I Shark work wreck. Could it be that the will of the captain led us here? The captain guarded the armor up until his very end. We should be grateful to him. He gave his life to protect the armor of Orgo. Doubtless he guarded the legendary armor until the very... Oh. Yeah. That's the captain, all right. No doubt about it. Here's the graffiti. There's a message written in faded red letters. This armor can only be worn by a true hero. I pray that the legendary relic finds its way into a true hero's hands. That That's blood. The captain's last words were dedicated to the armor. Those must be the captain's last words. All right, we're actually going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest VI.